queens, stop fighting over these men. A lot of times when you find out that your husband or your man has cheated on you, you get so upset and your blood boils at the thought of you knowing another woman has come in and violated you somehow. But I want to tell every woman that's viewing this video, I want to let you know, don't ever get out of your element and go out and you argue, you fight physically or you threaten another woman. Because what you must understand is that that other woman cannot do anything the man did not allow her to do. When a woman is trying to come at your man or your husband, that man can actually check that other woman. It's his job to check the other woman. If that other woman is approaching that man and trying to pursue that man, if that man loves you, that man should correct that woman and let that woman know how serious he is about his marriage and how serious he is about his relationship. But let me tell you women what happens often when it comes to the cheating when it comes to the man cheating a lot of times whether you want to believe it or receive it or not the man won't even claim you to the other woman or as the world calls now the side chick yes it's a hard pill to swallow but it's a very ugly truth a lot of times the man will not even tell these other women that hey i have a wife at home i'm married i have two three four five children they will not tell these other women this and this is why that woman still is sleeping with your man. This is why that other woman still will text your man. She will still call that man because that man has not told her about you or that man has not checked her. And he is not being very serious as far as his relationship or his marriage with you goes. Don't ever come to a very low level. To where you get taken out of your element and you get into a physical fight with another woman over your man. I'm not saying that all husbands are perfect. I'm not even saying that every man is perfect. All of us as a whole, we are all imperfect people. But when it comes to a man that says he's your husband and he is your husband and he took vows not only before God, but before witnesses and you guys break bread together, you share children together, you live together and he's saying that he loves you. That man would never put you in a position to where you get to a very low point and you are literally out here physically fighting with another woman over him. Because what you queens do not understand is this also. While you are yelling and screaming and cussing and even threatening that other woman on the phone, your man will still get up and he will still go out there and be scoring that other woman. He will still be telling that woman behind your back, it's okay to call me, it's okay to text me. He will still do it. Am I saying that it's right? Am I saying you're not supposed to fight for your relationship or your marriage? Not at all. But some things you have to just let God handle. Christian women. You already know when it comes to situations, especially like this, you must fight that thing in the spirit. There are some things I won't even address. And what I want to tell you women in this video message, some things you don't even address. And I'm not saying when it comes to this particular thing, you don't address it, but it's a way that you address it. Let me explain something to you. When it comes to the other woman, what you have to understand is that. Your loyalty, or I'm not going to even say your loyalty, her loyalty is not to you. The man's loyalty is to you, which is why you should check your man and not that other woman. You should never go to the other woman and get upset at her. The only time a woman should really be upset at another woman is if that other woman knew about you. There are some cases where there has been an outside woman and another woman that she did know about you. She's seen your face. It could have been a friend that you had that you thought was a friend, but you found out she was sleeping with your husband or your man. It could have been a church member that you found out was sleeping with your husband or your boyfriend. It could have been a woman that lived in your building. It could have been a, women, a woman that lived in your neighborhood or your community, and you found out she was sleeping with your man. But at the end of the day, that man loyalty, it, it belongs to you. It's not that other woman. It takes two to tango. And that's what I wanted to tell you women in this video message. Stop going out, getting into these physical fights over these men. You getting your hair pulled out. You getting your weave pulled out. You getting your face scratched up. 
lips busted, you screaming, you hollering, you cussing, police getting called, you threatening the woman all over a man that's not even faithful to you. He's not trying to be. Some of you women right now, you are in relationships where you know for a fact that man is not even really trying to fight to be faithful to you. He openly, comfortably cheats on you on a regular basis. And you still consistently are going out here screaming and hollering and arguing and fighting with these other women. My entire video message to you women on YouTube and to you women up here on Facebook, stop fighting over these men. A man that truly loves you, I'm not saying he's a picture of perfection, but that man will not put you in a situation where you literally get down to where you're fighting that woman physically. That man will correct that woman. And it's hard, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for me to say this and it's sad to say this, but it's the truth. There are some men that does have a mistress or a side chick or a girl on the side, you know, a woman on the side. But they will make it known to that woman. If my girl or my fiance or my wife ever finds out about us, you better not ever disrespect my wife. You better not ever disrespect my girl. You don't come to my house. You don't call my phone past this time. Or that time. You don't text my phone past this time or that time. I'm not justifying it and saying that it's okay. But there are some men out here, if they're going to do their dirt, they still will have a certain amount of respect. But for those of you where that man is not respecting you, you need to remove yourself from the situation. You need to remove yourself from the relationship and stop allowing it. Or you need to check your man on it. Because let me tell you something, queens, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I really honestly do what I'm about to say to you. It's a hard pill to swallow, and I had to come to this conclusion when I got cheated on. You cannot stop a man from feeling another woman. I know that's hard for some of you guys, and I know that some old memories may be ignited from me saying this with some of you, but it's just the truth. You cannot stop your husband, your fiance, your boyfriend from being attracted to and feeling and thinking another woman is great and thinking another woman is awesome. You're screaming, you're hollering, you're cussing, your threats. It's not going to stop that man and keep him in a situation where he will no longer cheat on you. If anything, it will make him probably desire and try to pursue that other woman more because the situation is deeper than sometimes how that other woman looks or what she's doing you have to understand queens your man cheating on you you know how the game goes he goes out and he tells that other woman all the horrible stuff about you he may tell her hey my wife is not supportive she cusses me out she lays around on her butt all day she doesn't cook she doesn't clean up She's not supportive of me and what I do. Every time I come home from work, she's running off at her mouth. Whatever it is that that man is telling that other woman, that other woman is sitting back like this. She's listening to that man. She's taking in everything that that man is saying. And she may in reality be a straight piece of trash. But she's not going to tell your man that she's not going to show that. She's going to have all her ducks in a row and make sure she's the total, complete opposite of who you are. Because when it comes to cheating, it is so much deeper sometimes than sex. It's a soul tie there. And lust, I talked about lust in the video that I made. You guys got to go check it out to understand why I'm saying what I'm saying now. It's so much deeper sometimes. And sometimes people get involved in these affairs and they get involved into these relationships where they're cheating and they're so deep in it. They don't even know how to come out of it. This is why you must learn women. To fight certain things in the spirit. You have to learn that. That's my video message to each and every one of you women that just viewed this video. Stop fighting over these men. You may have a husband right now. You may have a boyfriend or a fiance right now. And I'm not saying he's a perfect man and he will never make a mistake with you. I'm not saying you throw in a towel if that man makes a mistake with you. But if any of you queens that's watching this video and you are currently in a situation where that man you're with is openly disrespecting you and cheating on you, you need to leave that man or you need to check that man on why he's cheating on you and letting that other woman come and disrespect your relationship. 
because trust and believe that other woman is not doing and saying anything that she does not feel comfortable doing. And she got the green light from that man. That's what I want to tell you, queens, in this video message. I hope you guys receive it. I hope you activate the information that I gave you because we all have to do better. But you women must understand that you still, as hard as it may be, you still must act like a lady and be a lady. Even in humiliating, hurtful situations like this, it's not worth it. Because while you are fighting, as I stated earlier, and you remember this and take this with you and I'm going to end this video. While you are screaming, while you are hollering, while you are yelling and while you are cursing. That man will still lay right next to you and be thinking about those other women or that other woman. That man will still call her and that man will still tell her stuff is all good. Remember that queens and think about what I said. Stop fighting over these men. 